to prevent fire in AC coaches, power car, pantry car. There are many systems like FDSS, FSDS, aerosol, fireball, fire extinguisher, etc. are installed. Fire detection and suppression system or FDSS is an advanced fire suppression system designed for power cars and pantry cars of Indian Railways. This advanced system detects heat and smoke, automatically extinguishing fires with nitrogen and high pressure water mist. Control panel is installed outside the lavatory of power car. The control panel also has accessories like sound hooter, buzzer and a manual activation button. The control panel contains nitrogen module, eight zone card, protection card, display card, charging module, SMPS, batteries, system of nitrogen and two 68 litre water cylinders. These cylinders are connected via hoses and stainless steel pipes. These SS pipes then branch out to the engine area equipped with 10 water spray nozzles for water mist discharge. Smoke, heat sensors and LHD system features four smoke sensors and two heat sensors covering the diesel generator, engine area, staff and guard rooms. Linear heat detection wiring is installed in the engine and luggage areas of power car. When a smoke detector senses smoke in the engine area, it immediately activates the buzzer on the control panel. In case of smoke in engine area, manual intervention is required from staff to activate the FDSS system by pressing the manual activation switch. If the temperature in the engine area exceeds 90 degrees Celsius, the heat sensors installed in engine area trigger the FDSS system. The control panel's hooter begins sounding to signal a high temperature alert. Diesel generator is automatically shut down and a 30 second timer starts. Once the timer expires, nitrogen and water mist are discharged automatically to cool and extinguish the fire. The FDSS system in the pantry car has same function as power car, having control panel, system of nitrogen and water cylinders, smoke sensor, heat sensors and LHD wire. The FDSS offers multiple advantages. It detects heat and smoke, automatically suppressing fires without human intervention. Fire and Smoke Detection System or FSDS system is installed in AC coaches of Indian Railways. This advanced system detects smoke, alerts passengers, applies train brakes and facilitates safe evacuation. A control panel is installed in linen compartment of the AC coach. The panel contains Vesta unit, brake module, and PA module. Power panel converts 110 volt DC coming from switchboard cabinet panel to 24 volt DC. In the event of 110 volt supply failure, it continues supplying a 24 volt DC with the help of an inbuilt battery backup. These are smoke sampling points installed at critical locations of coaches to cover entire area. These all sampling points are interconnected to each other through UPVC pipe. The FSDS is designed for rapid response to smoke in AC coaches. When smoke reaches any of the 15 sampling points, it's drawn to the control panel's Vesta unit for analysis. A brake valve, solenoid operated, is connected to the main BP pipe of the train. In case of fire, the brake valve gets activated, which results into discharging of BP pressure to atmosphere, thereby applying brake to the entire train.
There are four components AEL and UVR are part of alternative protection while FOL and FEL are used for feeder protection. In this demonstration, we are showing the ACB, Air Circuit Breaker. In the SPC2 panel, there are two AEL. This is relay in which the amperage is set to 2.5 ampere and the operation time is set to 0.5 second. And UVR. In the SPC2 panel, two FOL and two FEL units for feeder protection. This is the earth leakage relay of feeder. In this, the amperage is set to 3 ampere and the operation time is set to 0.5 second. In the SBC2 DC panel, there are eight fuses on each side. Next, we are showing the engine safety switches. Now we are showing how to start DG set. First, turn on the 24 volt power supply. Then select the DG set A or B by turning the plant selector knob. Select the DG mode. Once done, turn on the 25 ampere DC isolator switch. By doing this, we can see the supply coming to the datacom display. We now check or set the earth fault relay. with a current setting of 2.5 amps and a time delay of 0.5 seconds. Press the test button on the AEL relay. After the red signal appears on the AEL relay, the AEL indication light turns on and the engine trips. Next, we begin the manual testing procedure for AEL. We isolate one phase from the CBCT ring which will then connect with the ACB. Now, start the DG set. Once all feeders are charged, we proceed with FOL testing. Press the trip button on the FOL. This will trip the feeder and activate the red indication light. Now, start the DG set and charge all feeders. And we proceed with FEL testing. Press the trip button on the FEL. This will also trip the feeder with a red indication light. We use a thermal camera to detect any loose connections. DG set safety sensors. Function, settings and testing methods. Testing methods of coolant temperature sensor. Manual testing. Remove the coolant temperature sensor. Place it in boiling water. Sensor sends command to the DG set control unit. Once the temperature reaches 97 degrees Celsius or higher, the engine should automatically shut down. An alarm should be triggered and high coolant temperature should be displayed on the control panel by software testing access the dg sets control software enter a coolant temperature override command set to greater than or equal to 97 degrees celsius or the defined hct shutdown threshold monitor as the engine shuts down as expected the alarm is triggered and the correct fault message is displayed Manual testing of the lube oil temperature sensor. Remove the sensor and place it in boiling oil. Once the oil temperature reaches 107 degrees Celsius or above, the engine should automatically shut down. The control panel should display high lube oil temperature with triggering alarm. 
by software testing. Set the override value equal to or greater than 107 degrees Celsius. Monitor as the engine shuts down. The control panel should display high lube oil temperature with triggering alarm. Manual testing of lube oil pressure sensor. Use the pressure testing setup where the LOP sensor is mounted. Slowly turn the pressure cock clockwise to reduce oil pressure. Once the pressure drops to 1.8 kgs per square centimeter or less, the sensor sends a command to the DG set control unit for shutdown and the display should indicate low oil riffle pressure. By software testing, enter an oil pressure override command that is equal to or less than 1.8 kgs per square centimeter. Wait and verify if the engine shuts down. The display should indicate low oil riffle pressure with triggering alarm. Testing of water level sensor. Manually reduce the water level in the radiator. The sensor should send a low water level alert. The sensor sends a command to the DG set control unit for shutdown. If the level falls below the safety threshold, display low coolant level on the DG control panel. Smoke detectors are installed in power cars to detect smoke generated due to hazardous conditions during operation. The control panel is located in SBC1 panel, which is located in staff room. Two smoke detector head units are installed. These detectors are connected to the control unit via a core shield cable. This is the control unit of smoke detector. There are two head sensors provided here in switchboard cabinet 1 and switchboard cabinet 2. Power supply of 110 volt provided here from battery of power car through 6 ampere MCB. The detectors identify smoke triggering the hooter to sound a siren. These are two aerosol units fitted in the SPC1 panel for fire extinguishing. Here, eight AFO fireballs are used in power car, in which six are used in engine room and two are used in staff room. 